Have you ever made a mistake that you wish you could undo? Correcting past mistakes is one of the reasons we find the concept of time travel so fascinating. As often portrayed in science fiction, with a time machine, nothing is permanent anymore. You can always go back and change it. But is time travel possible in our universe? Or is it just science fiction? It turns out that time travel could be possible, but only with parallel timelines, says Dr. Barak Shoshani, assistant professor of physics at Brock University, in an article for The Conversation. Our understanding of time and causality comes from general relativity. Albert Einstein's theory combines space and time into a single entity, space-time, and provides a remarkably detailed explanation of how they work. This theory has existed for more than 100 years and has been verified to extremely high precision. Hence, physicists are pretty sure it provides an accurate description of the causal structure of our universe. For decades, physicists have been using general relativity equations to figure out if time travel is possible. But physics is not mathematics, and equations are meaningless if they do not correspond to anything in reality. Two main issues make us think these equations may be unrealistic. The first issue is that building a time machine seems to require exotic matter, which has negative energy. From quantum mechanics, we know that such matter can theoretically be created, but in two small quantities and for two short times. However, there is no proof that creating exotic matter in sufficient quantities is impossible. Furthermore, other equations may be discovered that allow time travel without exotic matter. The other main issue is more significant. Time travel seems to contradict logic in the form of time travel paradoxes. The most problematic of these are consistency paradoxes, which happen when a particular event leads to changing the past, but the change itself prevents this event from happening in the first place. For example, we enter a time machine, use it to go back in time five minutes, and immediately destroy the device. Now that we destroyed the time machine, it would be impossible to use it five minutes later. But if we cannot use the time machine, then we cannot go back in time and destroy it. In other words, the time machine is destroyed if and only if it is not destroyed. This scenario is inconsistent and paradoxical. It was one of the reasons why Stephen Hawking's chronology protection conjecture states that time travel should be impossible. However, this conjecture so far remains unproven. Furthermore, the universe would be much more interesting if we could just eliminate the paradoxes themselves instead of eliminating time travel. One attempt to resolve time travel paradoxes is Igor Novikov's self-consistency conjecture, which states that you can travel to the past, but not change it. According to Novikov, if we tried to destroy the time machine five minutes in the past, we would find it impossible to do so. The laws of physics would somehow conspire to preserve consistency. But what's the point of going back in time if you cannot change the past? Dr. Shushani's recent work shows there are time travel paradoxes that Novikov's conjecture cannot resolve. So is this the final nail in the coffin of time travel? Not quite. The idea of multiple histories or parallel timelines can resolve the paradoxes that Novikov's conjecture cannot. In fact, it can resolve any paradox you throw at it. The idea is very simple. When we exit the time machine, we leave into a different timeline. We can do whatever we want in that timeline, including destroying the time machine, without changing anything in the original timeline we came from. There is no paradox, since we cannot destroy the time machine in the original timeline. After working on time travel paradoxes for the last three years, Dr. Shoshani has become convinced that time travel could be possible, but only if our universe can allow multiple histories to coexist. So can it. Dr. Shushani's team is currently working on a time travel theory with multiple histories, fully compatible with general relativity. They want to make sure that, at least, time travel is not ruled out by consistency paradoxes. And in another timeline, they may already have done it. Thank you for watching. And please, don't forget to subscribe.